Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to talk about how to start the Guardian Games in Destiny 2 2022. When you log into the game, simply open up your destination screen. On the top left hand corner, you will see whichever key it is for your input device. Simply hold that key. You'll see that it says best in class. Speak with Eva Levante. Eva Levante is located in the tower, so we're simply going to travel to the tower here and we will talk to Eva. When you spawn into the tower, simply run straight ahead and we will see Eva Levante right here. And here we will select a class item with a particular energy that you want. We simply press map and go to quests. It says earn medallions by completing ritual activities or by completing platinum or contender cards, which can be purchased from Eva. Medallions can be turned in at the podium for class specific rewards. Use the laurels Eva gave you to purchase a contender card. Okay, so we'll simply go ahead here and purchase a contender card, which is up at the top here, this top row. So you would choose it for the particular activity that you want to play. And it does look like this year that there are additional activities. So you can do seasonal activities or the Witch Queen activities, or you can do the three standard Vanguard, Crucible, or Gambit. If you wanted to get a class item of a different energy type, you can purchase that here, or you could simply change the energy type on your class item. So we'll go ahead and look at our quests again for the next step. We need to earn laurels and we need to earn medallions. So to earn a medallion, we need to complete our contender card. And to earn laurels, we need to open up our inventory and we will go to our class item slot and we will equip the class item that we just received. So after you have equipped your class item, simply jump into the playlist or the activity that you selected your contender card for. So for me, it's Crucible and complete your contender card. So it turns out that we didn't even have to complete the contender card. I just did one match of Crucible, completed the match, and I ended up receiving, if we go to our quest here, um, I ended up receiving a bronze medallion. So I am able to go back to the tower and talk to Eva Levante. It also does look like you get around 20 to 25% for simply completing an activity. So that definitely helps for progress for your actual um, contender quests. When we get back in the tower, simply going to talk to Evil again. Open up the menu here. We are going to accept the medallion case. And I believe we then have to go trade in this medallion. Yep. So we're going to exit out. We're going to walk up here to the um, Guardian Games podium. Simply walk up to your specific class and this prompt will come up on your screen, allowing you to deposit your Guardian Games medallions. So we're going to deposit this. We receive a weapon as a reward. It's asking us to go back and talk to Ava again. Open up her menu and we will get the Guardian Games Medallion Battalion. Okay, so this is another quest that we can pick up. And after you've picked up that quest, you'll be prompted to go and talk to Zavala. So we're just gonna run over here and speak with him. Best in class, you can go ahead and read this prompt if you would like to, click accept. Okay, so now we have to complete a, an activity in the Vanguard playlist. So if we go ahead and open up our quest here, and we look at it, it says complete an activity in the Guardian Games recreational playlist and earn um, Vanguard medals during combat. So to find the recreational playlist, we're going to open up the map in the tower and we will see up at the top here that there is Guardian Games training playlist, but that requires the completion of best in class. So that's what we're doing right now. And then there is the Guardian Games recreational playlist. So let's go ahead and jump into this. All we have to do is use our abilities with our class item selected and we should be able to complete this. So far, this activity has been pretty straightforward. You just go in, kill a bunch of enemies. Um, sometimes they will drop an item that you have to pick up and dunk. If that happens, you'll see what I have right now. Like you'll see a quest marker on your screen. Simply follow the quest marker and go ahead and deposit the items that you pick up. It'll appear just like this. So if I go ahead and drop this, there will be items like this. You simply pick them up and run them over to this objective marker that you will see on your screen. Don't do that though. <laughs> Stand a little bit further back than I did. 
to earn laurels, all you need to do is use your supers and abilities. So if you kill enemies with your supers or your abilities, then they have chance to spawn laurels, as we're seeing right here. And uh, you can, this year, pick up laurels from other teams and stuff. They just all count as laurels. They're not class-specific or anything like that. So if anybody on your team is using abilities or supers to get kills, then you will be able to farm out laurels that way. Now, it should be noted that you do have to equip your class item that you got from the start of the quest for the Guardian games. So if I go ahead and look at my menu here, if I pull up my gear, you need to have this class item equipped. So for me, it's the Titan Mark. And as long as you have that equipped, you will be able to go through and earn laurels. Using Void 3.0 is a really good option here as um, it has really good synergies to get your abilities back quickly. But if you are a Warlock, you could use um, you could use Sun Bracers, which will also get you your abilities back very fast. If you are a Hunter, I recommend using the Throwing Knives because you can get the ability, I believe it's called Playing With Fire. And with that ability, you'll just constantly regenerate knives as long as you're getting kills with those knives. So you'll be able to get an insane amount of laurels very quickly and you'll just always have your abilities. Other than that, as far as activities, I would highly recommend just playing the seasonal activity. So all you're going to do is open up the tower and there are two playlists there. One of the playlists is locked until you have completed the entry quest. But after you complete that quest, then you can do either one of those playlists. So if we open up our map and we go to destinations here, we go to the tower, we will see these two playlists, Guardian Games Recreational Playlist and Guardian Games Training Playlist. We can jump into either one of these if we have them available and we can go through and complete those activities. There will be tons of enemies for you to kill and you'll be able to earn medallions and stuff for more progress in the Guardian Games. Other than that, just spam your abilities, have fun and go ahead and earn your laurels. Okay, so we have completed the activity, so we're simply required to return back to the tower and speak to Commander Zavala. Alright, so make your way back over to Commander Zavala. Open up his menu here. You can go ahead and read the dialogue if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and accept this quest. And once we have done that, we are then asked to go back and speak to Eva Levante again. It does appear, though, if we open up the tower map, that we do now have access to the Guardian Games training playlist after completing that portion of the quest with Commander Zavala. So we speak to Eva Levante here, and she is going to give us the title SMG as a reward. So we go ahead and claim that, and we get this title screen for the Guardian Games. I believe that is our quest completed. Um, okay, so I think that this is glitched right now. Uh, if you open up the menu, it's supposed to, it's supposed to give you the Guardian Games playbook. It's supposed to, uh, tell you Guardian Games information, like how to acquire medallions, earn high scores, and unlock medals. You click on it, it brings up this, which, okay, I don't think it says anything about how to earn laurels here. Triumphs, get buffed, medallions, I mean... I don't think that, and then you click OK, and it's trying to get me to buy Witch Queen, even though I already have Witch Queen. <laughs> what the heck? This can't be, this can't be right. Why would it link out to that? That's so weird. I've, they've never done that before. I don't think. Anyways, guys, uh, if we open up our quest tab here, I think that is the end of that quest. So, um, don't buy Witch Queen again if you already have it. And, uh, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.